Hey guys, Wendell Kimbrew here, WendellK.com. I got a hymn for you today that's one of my favorites. Uh, it's called How Firm a Foundation. And um, a lot of you know this hymn. Um, we sang this hymn at my wedding and it's uh, it's been a real special one for me. Um, I'm gonna do it on the guitar, solo acoustic. And uh, if you stick around, I'll teach you how to play it at the end. Thanks for watching. for watching guys um so if you're a guitar player stick around i'll give you a lesson here on how to play it um and if not thanks for tuning in please subscribe let's stay in touch um yeah so um let's see we are k 
capo three. I got my capo on the third fret, and um, I'm using D major chord forms. Um, and there's a lot of chord changes in this. Um, so, but I've got a chart. So take a look at the chart if you can get it um, at the link below in the description. And um, I'm really um, I'm using a trick that I learned. Um, really, I learned this from Livingston Taylor. It's James Taylor's brother. Um, on a uh, on a VHS uh, tape uh, like in the '90s, um, called "Play Better Now." Live if you're out watching. Uh, thank you, appreciate that. Um, but it's a uh, it's just kind of how to shuffle around in D major and um, uh, sound sound pretty, you know. So so here's the trick. So I am I am throughout pretty much the entire song. I'm keeping my ring finger anchored right here which makes a D, I mean, relative to the key, we're actually in F, um, makes a D. And then I'm just moving around. I'm moving around what I play with my thumb on these, these top two strings. With a few changes down here, but throughout the song, that finger stays anchored there, and um, the chord forms I use all work around that. So it's almost like there's a D just droning through the whole song, like you got a, a, a fiddle player um, that's just letting the letting a D ring the whole the whole the whole song. So um, it creates an effect that, that's that's nice. Um, so. So that's kind of the key, honestly, to making this work. And then um, let me kind of run you through the chords that I'm playing and um, and talk a little bit about the shapes. So, often, so I'm starting with a D, G, and I'm actually, um, half the time I'm playing that G as like, it's like a D with a, a G on top of it, um, a G in the bass. Uh, so another, the difference being that I'm keeping this finger here, right? So D, G, D over F sharp. So again, I've got the top part of my my D chord here, and then I'm thumbing over to get the F sharp. D, A. Now the way I'm playing that A here, you'll notice I'm leaving this D string open, and I'm not actually striking it. But it makes a difference because you hear that, right? It kind of, um, again, it makes it like an A over D almost. It creates, continues that drone, that droning D sound. Um, um, so I'm playing that A like this. So normally you'd play an A this way. And I'm just taking that, that top string out of the chord. Um, okay, then line two is laid for your faith. Is laid for. F sharp. The chart says B minor. This is really, it's like a D over B. So again, because I'm droning here, um, but I'm playing a B right here on the, the second string. Um, that's how I play my B minor throughout this song. I do not bar it. Um, I always play it that way. So it's really, I think it's a B minor seven or, or again, like a D over B. So um, it's laid for your faith. B minor, D over A, right? So again, playing a D chord, just a straight open D, but I, but instead of striking the D string in the bottom, I'm striking the A string in the bottom of the chord. His name is excellent word. So that was D over A, A, and there I'm playing a true A chord. And then this is my own little whatever trick to, in the in the song typically um in a hymnal you'd hear this this hymn and it would go back to the tonic to the root chord here is in his excellent word but i'm just throwing in a g and an a as kind of a swing into the third line in his excellent word g a what more can d minor and then here this is a G over B so I'm I'm going to the trouble of putting my pinky down here 
It's actually my favorite chord change in the whole song, from the B minor to the to the um, G over B. So if you think about a G chord, it's just a G chord with a B in the bass. Um, then to you D E and C. Again, a, a true A, or I guess you could do the the, uh, the kind of A with the D in it there. To you D G D over F sharp B minor D over A A. And then this is where I go to my kind of tag in between verses is G major seven. G major 7 and then A suspended to A resolved. So there's the chords um, and then let me talk just a little bit about the right hand. Um, um, there's not like a totally fixed pattern in how I'm picking this but um, it's, uh, I guess if it would be um, it's hard for me to break it down, honestly. Um, so let me just kind of play it slowly, and that'll that'll give you a chance to hear it. So, um, my right hand um, and it's again there's not a super fixed pattern the main thing is just that whenever the chord changes I'm using my thumb to strike whatever that bass note is and then this part's just varying based on uh, what what the chord needs to do so <laughs> that's probably not my most helpful instruction on the uh, right hand finger picking but um uh, I think you can figure this one out if you if you want to so um, again, guys, I'm Wendell Kimberly. Thanks for watching. Uh, it's a beautiful hymn. It's one of my favorites. I hope you will um, sing it in your church. And if you got questions, um, post them below and let me know what hymns or songs you'd like to hear. And uh, I'll do my best to share them with you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.